Hi, it's Kerry Fitzgibbon here, and I've just finished a Facebook Live on the latest changes in Facebook, the three things that you need to know. And one of the things that I um, did point out was how conversion targeting has changed slightly. So, in the past, you would probably need to run an ad if you wanted to get people to convert on your website and you had not taught for Facebook what a conversion is. So, aka, put the pixel, Facebook pixel, on your website and let Facebook track people that converted. So that be added to your list or buy something or come to an event, whatever it is that you wanted them to, the action you wanted them to take. So if you hadn't uh, had enough conversions on the page for Facebook to know what a conversion was, so that would be typically 20 to around about 50 a week to teach Facebook, uh, this is what a conversion is. So Facebook has introduced a, uh, a, a, a extra to its, uh, a function to its conversion um, objective, which means that you can run an ad with the objective as a conversion. So I want people to convert, but because you don't know Facebook what a conversion is right now, I want you to optimize the ad to get people to the website. So link clicks until you have enough data to determine what a people are likely to convert. And then we want you to run the ad to people most likely to convert. That's it in a nutshell. So let's show you what I'm talking about rather than talking you through it. So this is a client's ad account. I'm just going to go create ad. So some of you guys won't have this right now, but some will. So you go create ad. We used to run a traffic objection. So this is link clicks. So Facebook show the ads to this group of people that are most likely to click through to the website is what this means, right? Um, which is if you hadn't had a conversion on your website, so someone taking action, then this is what you used to run to get the people there. Either a traffic, a reach to get more people in front of it, or engagement um, were the typical ones I would run, um, or a video view campaign, right? But now we can run a conversion campaign even if we don't have conversions on our website right now. So we can say, Facebook, I want to run this campaign with the objective objective to get uh, more conversions we continue I'm just showing you this this is not how I would typically set up an ad I would normally name them the right names you want to set what your conversion is so there's a few things that need to be put in place before you do this one is a pixel on your website Number two is you want to set up a custom conversion in here. But we're not going to go into details in this particular video on that. I just want to show you the change and what to look out for. So this is while this is loading, telling me uh, what the different conversions is. You want to select it once it's loaded up. So let's scroll down. You would select your audiences. Scroll on down. <clears throat> Optimize for ad delivery conversions. So you're saying Facebook. Show the people most likely to convert. And this is the option here. Optimize for link clicks until there is enough data to optimize for conversion. This can help improve results. So you tick that there. This is if you have not had conversions on your website with your pixel on your website. So it's if Facebook does not already have that data. If you have had 20 or more conversions, then you can still tick this, Facebook might have a look at it, optimize it, send traffic there, get the data, and then convert to showing the ad to people most likely to convert, okay? You can pick your conversion window, seven day click, so seven days after they've clicked, or seven day click, one day view, or so on. So you've got to determine which one you're going to use. Um, I tend to use seven day clicks or one day view, but it all depends on the price point, okay? The lower the price point, the less the conversion window is, the higher the price point or the more time invested for someone to uh, convert. So for instance, if I'm holding a two, three day workshop, someone might not make that decision straight away. They might need to go away, come back a couple of days later and um, and check, okay? So that's basically it. It's clicking this here, optimize for link clicks until there is enough data to optimize for conversions. Hope this helps um, and it's really, really good obviously for people that have got low conversions right now but want to use the um, conversion uh, objective. Um, let me know if you have any questions.